Hola, ¿cómo estás? Espero que estén muy bien. Bienvenidos a mi página, mi nombre es Simonette. And so today, as you can see from the title of the video, we will be talking about tips on how to help you with back to school and the online learning. Now, I must commend you first if you're watching this video, first and foremost, because it means that you are trying to find tips on how to improve your classroom and so I want to comment you are doing well so far thank you for watching this video so first and foremost the first tip I'm going to suggest is that you are on time and not just on time but you should be early for your sessions so even though it's online set um, classes if it starts at 8 please be there like even five minutes or ten minutes before if possible because and this has happened to me recently I had a session and then my computer decided to update right before the class and it's a good thing I was setting up everything beforehand so make sure you are early not only that but it helps to set the tone for the classes so what does this mean it means that if you arrive after the students and I know that sometimes you're saying oh but if I don't turn on the the zoom for example and i haven't started the classes then they can't be there before me however they are waiting or they're in the waiting room you want to get there before them once they log on either you have some music or an icebreaker or something but you set the tone for your classes so ensure that you're there on time and you're not you don't get there after them so that you're playing catch up and then for the whole the, it affects the rhythm of your class also so that is important when we're talking about time and time management try to time your activities and remember that even though it's not face to face you have a, a prescribed time for your sessions you must be dynamic must be flexible you should be able to think on your feet because as with anything you never know what will happen and especially online you might have a great PowerPoint you might have a great activity and you click on it nothing is happening what are you gonna do say okay we have to end the class because the PowerPoint is not working or the link is not working always have a plan B and always be able to think on you your feet but you're a teacher so you are able to do that um, but I'm just reminding you and don't get flustered when something happen just no, that is a part of the process and continue. Do not force your students to turn on their cameras. And please don't let it be a part of the, the grade that they get. So if you turn on your camera, you get an additional 5%. Now, um, each school will prescribe what they do, but we also have to remember that some students are living in areas that they don't want to turn on their camera for everybody to see where they're living or whatever the reason is. Please, you can tell them to turn it on, but don't force them to turn it on. All right? And their person might ask, oh, but we want to make sure that that is the person that is online. You would have heard their voice um, when they speak. So if you want to find a way to um, call, ask them a question throughout, you can find out if the child is there without the camera being on. And I know from experience also that if everybody's camera is off and you're talking and you're the only one with the camera on it seems as if you're talking to the computer that is understandable but that is also a part of the process do not force anybody to turn on their camera next one create opportunities for students to collaborate now even though it's not face to face you still your lessons should be student centered so you don't want it to be teacher talking, 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 preaching, preaching, preaching. No. You should create opportunities for students to collaborate with with their classmates. And even and now even you have more opportunity because you can speak to a teacher from another school, another country. You can collaborate. So you have more opportunity. Look at it as an opportunity. For students to collaborate so for example in zoom and I have a video here on how to use zoom you can create breakout rooms so that is not in the video that I did but it's something you can look into once you go on zoom you can create breakout rooms the beautiful thing about the breakout rooms you can time them so for example you say students you have 15 minutes to create a role play for example in Spanish you just met somebody for the first time 
create a role play, ask them their name, how they're doing and their nationality. You give them 15 minutes, you time it so that they can see the time counting down, they know how many minutes they have left and all of that. So that's one thing that you could do. If you're using WebEx, for example, you could give them, say, oh, you have 15 minutes and then we join. You, you decide, but create opportunities for, opportunities for them to collaborate. You can use um, various modes of assessment also. Don't use the same thing. If the students know that tomorrow and next week and the week after, this is exactly what we're going to be doing, that means the sessions are going to be boring. You want to leave your students wanting more, waiting, excited to come to your class. But if you are just talking, talking, they won't be excited. You also will get exhausted and burnt out. And that is not the aim. We want the class to be as fun as possible and want everybody to leave the experience greater than they came. All right. Um, ensure that you practice using the platform that you're going to use. Whatever you're going to use. Zoom, WebEx, Google Classroom, whatever it is that you're going to be using. Ensure that you know about it beforehand. Don't just hear about something and just, oh, I'm going to use it with my students today. Take some time and ensure that you find out um, the pros and cons and you know your students. Is this something that my students would love? Another thing, this leads me to my next point too. Speak to your students so you can find out from them. You can get feedback. So you set this from day one. Create an environment where students feel comfortable talking to you so they know okay because for example i might love zoom and i say well my students are gonna love zoom but maybe that's not the perfect thing for them so let them also suggest some for you when you work together because remember we are working together not against each other so that's that but practice beforehand and you you don't know everything so that's okay and you can learn so much from your students so this is a great opportunity to learn also collaborate with other teachers who are like-minded persons who are passionate about what it is that you're doing because that is important again you will not know everything and you can learn so much from others and that's okay so ensure that you find a team find your group you know your tribe make sure you have some persons who you can speak to who are in your corner and i know you will do well but do not get overwhelmed it's natural for you to feel anxious it means that you care but make sure you take care of yourself because you cannot pour from an empty cup um again assessment must vary so you can use quizzes you can use google class if you're using google classroom you can even use uh google forms to help you to do some of the marking with quizzes they get um, immediate feedback also so they know what they need to do it also helps you as a teacher because you are able to know this is a question that most of the class having a problem with or they the average for the class and which one took the longest for them to answer and when i say quizzes i mean q u i z i z z that's a, that's a platform that they play games, they get points and all of that. You can also use Gimkit, you can use Kahoot and suggest the ones that you use also below so that we can check them out. Because again, we are all in this together. Estamos juntos. Um, another thing is breathe, relax. If you feel overwhelmed, take some time. And do some reflection too. See what works, what doesn't work. Talk to others again. As I said, make sure you are part of a team, a group. Some reach out to other teachers. Um, they might be having the same concerns or they might have overcome whatever you're struggling with. And they can give you feedback. You are not alone. You got this. You're amazing, you're awesome, you're a teacher. That's a superpower. You touch lives every day. And I just want to let you know I'm proud of you and I am excited to see what the new year, new school year brings. And also, just let me know if you have any questions, any concerns. You can send me a message. And if you have any suggestions below, anything that works for you, we want to hear. We want to hear from you and don't give up. You are doing well. 
if at the end of the day you can say i've done my best then you are doing well and if we are all a work in progress also so each day you just continue continue to develop your craft one final thing before i leave having an online class meaning turning on the internet and having a class does not mean you're integrating technology so ensure that you integrate technology in your classes and you provide students with opportunity to collaborate and also explore because you want them to also learn on their own remember in this day and age the teacher is a facilitator so once you do your preparation you know that anything can happen and you are a quick thinker and you think on your feet and you love what you do because that is important you must love what you do and be passionate about it then you are going to be okay tengan ustedes un buen 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 día let me know what other videos you'd like to see please put your best practices below so that we can learn from you i'm so excited to see what you are going to come up with because i know i'm going to be getting some great ideas from you too because you're a teacher you are amazing you are fantastic tengan ustedes un buen 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 día and thank you for watching this video please share with a teacher you think can benefit from this don't forget to like comment subscribe and share adios